Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, your beloved Vigo man here, and welcome back to Vigo Craft this Saturday. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing great. I know I am, as usual. Somehow I'm always feeling great when recording Vigo Craft. I bet it's the atmosphere of this world here. I'm just having so much fun playing off camera on my own here, and also together with you guys as recordings. I just truly love this world and the concept we got going. This guys, ladies and gentlemen, let me represent to you a slime chunk. This is a slime chunk, guys, which uh, I apparently found when I was I was using this like program called uh, Mine Atlas. I do believe it's called. You can Google it if you want to. Uh, and I just searched up on my my area here. And I found out, out that this area is supposed to be slime chunk. Right now we can't really see any slimes. I don't know why. Maybe it's, they are spawning elsewhere. And I've dug a hole here. Because this is just up to the item elevator we have done before. To transport items around our sorting system. So what we are going to do today is actually to make a simple slime farm here. I have a very super design I want to show you guys today. So stay tuned. Keep watching. Last night I was actually recording a little bit of Vigo Craft and it turned out really bad. I was not in the zone if you know what I mean. Uh, I, I rewatched the footage and I was not pleased with it. So I decided to just scrap everything we did uh, like before this recording here. And I just want to show you what I've done. By the way, look at this beautiful base here. I think I showed you last episode but still looks freaking beautiful. Uh, what I did, I, was, I set up this small... This small uh, sugarcane farm here automatically, like this. We have an observer block. Whenever this one grows up, all this get harvested. Uh, let me see if I can get through here. Stupid chickens are making too much noise. Back here we have a hopper line going connected up to the sugarcane farm. And what I want to do is to connect all of the farms from the farming area into here. This one is connected up to a row. Okay. Can I get up and take a look? No. Okay, so back here you can hear it. There is a minecart going back and forth, picking up all of the items harvested by this uh, sugarcane farm. Also, right in here we have the chicken farm. I might want to connect that up to this uh, hopper line here. And this one runs all the way over into this item elevator here, which run. Let's see if I can manipulate around here. It's a little, a little bit. Uh, hard to move around here uh, like this so I kind of want to open up all of my redstone so it's easy to manipulate through and easy to check for repairs and stuff like that anyway item elevator goes up here into these hoppers these hoppers goes through here into the sorting system into the storage room we also have this super smelter which is not really super smelter it's just it's just fun uh, we can put in items, they really quickly get depoted out from here, put into the chest here, spread it out evenly. There was only two, so one on either side here. Uh, this one will run around with coal whenever it's need for that. I think we're stocked up, yeah. So no problem with that, uh, filling up all of the furnaces. And yeah, that's kind of basically it of this, what I've done off camera here. Uh, also, the last episode we did this here. We made this beautiful trading area for villagers, and look what I've got. I got some villagers here. A row, uh, you got Bane of Arthropods, and Fortune Tree. That's not too bad, and this one is not really that good. Uh, this one has a cheap trade for emeralds, I think. And we have some cheap coal trades here, and another one of coal. But this guy right here is my favorite. Is a librarian? No, okay, okay, okay. Fortune tree for only 29 diamonds. That is not too shabby. Let's see if there's a guy waiting for us No, I think maybe the village reader up there is broken Let's go up there and take a look because I've done stuff of camera here guys without you and Much of this is just new to you, but I've been playing here so much so for me It's like old news, but let's go up here uh, I made this villager breeder. Yeah, it's broken. I need to fix this. Uh, these villagers are supposed to breed babies, go down to the sides, flow into the water here, get taken up when they grow old, go down here as a tripwire hook, uh, noticing if there's a guy here. If there's a guy, when we press the button, a minecart will go out. Only if there's a guy here, though. 
We don't want to waste mine cards. Hey, go down here, fall down, fall down into our area back here, and so on. Also, this piston will extend if there's a guy here, so we don't get caught up with many guys here at once. Redstone, fairly simple. We have redstone going up. We have an Norgate, I think it's called, but I've used it a little bit differently here. So, this redstone output goes into here, this one goes off. And same over here, if, if this is power, this one turns off. Alright, follow me guys, please. So whenever there's a guy there, the redstone here will be powered by the, the strings and the wire stuff. Tripwire. So this one is unpowered. Then whenever we press the button, this one will also unpower. This one will power and will send out a minecart. So that's some kind of safety redstone I've done to prevent an overusage of minecarts. So basically how the slime farm we're going to build today is working is that we have an area like this. Slimes should spawn here at any light level. And what we're going to do is use that to our advantage here. And uh, slimes will chase iron golems that we know for sure so what we're going to do is to figure out the middle here it's not an even no it's an even number not an odd number so it will, will not be one single block here so if we go uh, as close to this as possible um, okay so one two let's actually do something different here one two three four five six seven eight okay eight like that okay so block one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, block like that. And then we'll meet in the middle right here. Okay. That is where stuff will happen. So what we're going to do is to have a block with some cacti on it. Alright. Like that. And then we'll have an iron golem above that. Which makes it so that the slams will jump towards the iron golem and hit this cacti and die a brutal death. Uh, and we'll have some hoppers here like this picking up all of the slime blocks. We'll transport them over here into the iron item elevator transporting them up and into the sorting system. It's really simple. By the way, this design is uh, made by Exuma Void if I'm not mistaken. At least that's where I saw this the first time. Uh, if you don't know who Exhumavite is, you missed out guys, buddy, I tell you, go over and check him out, uh, he's one of the greatest Minecrafters out there, not, e not only is he like a fun guy uh, to just watch videos of, uh, he's also a really talented redstoner and builder, uh, he plays on the Hermitcraft server, you probably heard of him, if you're watching my videos, you have definitely seen him, I'm pretty sure, uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do, I want to make this look a little bit cool as well, not only uh, just little blocks doing stuff, I want to make it look a little bit decent as well. That's kind of a deal for Vigo Craft, I want to put time in every farm to make it look beautiful and put a lot of effort into everything. Not just rush into it, because we'll have this map for hopefully years. Maybe decades, I don't know how long Minecraft will be keep on going here, as long as we enjoy it, I guess. So what I want to do is just make a big plateau here, platform, like this, and then we'll have another platform a little bit higher here. So we'll have two layers for slimes to spawn on, and all of them will jump down and do like this, and then die, <laughs> basically. Uh, we'll pick them up, we'll transport them over here into this, uh, like so. Something like this and then yeah transport them over to here into this area We'll shoot them up into the storage system. I think it should be pretty fairly cool Now the first platform is done It's time to put on the next one and what I want to do is to put them something Let's see four blocks up. I do believe like this one two three four because I do believe slams need a four by four by four area uh, let's be on the safe side at least and then like that so we have a nice border going around the whole area here yeah I think that's what we're gonna do and then just have it open here so they can jump down so there's no like uh, issues with hitting the cacti and stuff like that I think that's how we're gonna do it
by the way, if you haven't seen my latest video, it's called like something like Tropical Island Realistic Minecraft Landscapes. I would recommend you to check that out because that's a series I got going. I've been doing it for a while, but had a long, long break and uh, I'm back again. Uh, as you know, I'm like, I'm a Minecraft builder. That's like what I started off as and I've been, oh, I, I'm going to grab this iron while I'm here. Thank you. Free iron. I ain't complaining. Um, yeah, I'm. I was starting off as like, which blocks do I want to waste here? I'm gonna waste those as a Minecraft builder. And I've been doing a lot of uh, like World Painter lately, or for a while actually. And World Painter is um like a program you can use with outside of Minecraft to create some amazing landscapes if you know how to use it. And that's what I've done. Well, I'm not going to go around here and say my landscapes are amazing. But I can say as much as I think they're pretty beautiful. <laughs> I like them myself. So basically what Realistic Minecraft Landscapes is, it's a series where I showcase some landscapes I've been making, which I think is gorgeous. Some, some landscapes I really do think is looking pretty good, uh, in my opinion at least. And I'm pretty sure many of you guys will think the same. So, I will try to leave that and like like some kind of end thing for this video. So if you want to check it out, you can press the like the video on the end of the video if I manage to do so. If not, just go on my channel and you'll see it. It will be right there as newly uploaded videos. Alright, let's see if I did this correct this time as well here. I'm just doing the redstone for this thing. If I put you here... Yep, there we go. Okay, very simple. If you haven't seen this before, it's a comparator out from this block. Repeater, comparator, both uh, comparators on subtract mode and some redstone going around here with a repeater into a block. And that ba makes it so that every block you toss into here will go over here and be shooting out. Alright, like that. It's fairly simple, it's very cool and something really great for your redstone contraptions around here. So basically that is done. What we need to do now to make this as a functioning item elevator is to fill up with glass like this. I have some more glass melting upstairs and um, so we're going to be able to fill this all in here, I think. So basically what we need to do is to make all of this like uh, open opaque blocks, not really opaque, they don't only need to be solid blocks, so you can't move through them and items can't move through them. So basically this dropper will shoot them up, they will go into this block and they will be thinking, what the heck am I doing here? I'm inside a block. Uh, is there any free areas around me? No, we'll move up and check again. So they just keep on moving and they move all the way to the top into the storage system. Now that's pretty great, isn't it? Uh, okay, I just think, I think I'm in a little bit of a problem right now. Actually, um, yeah, I also moved this down one because I, I just searched on the wikis and slimes only need a three by two and a half by three area to spawn on, so this should be good. Yeah, I, I think I'm in a little bit of a problem. I get a little bit of a situation here because I'm out of wood. I've been using up all my wood without farming any new ones. So uh, I, I planted a few saplings just outside my base. Hopefully we have some growth there and we can harvest some of those because we need them for the next part of the farm. Okay, so the final part for this farm to be functioning is to go up here like that without destroying the cactus, please. Then place one of these bad boys and then we need to get up again. Because what we're going to do is to make some kind of cage here for the um, for the iron golem to stand on so that we can have him standing here and we'll have all the other guys just uh, trying to capture him or damage him whatever we want to make some kind of uh, cage for him so it doesn't take any damage so it's been a while since I've been making any iron golem so let's hope I still know how to do this uh, like this and then with a pumpkin. Okay, let's actually place these in first. Does that work? That doesn't work. Do I need to go one taller, perhaps? Maybe that's what I need to do. Okay, so he's in place here and he should be safe, I do believe. I'm pretty sure. Hello? Can I not place you here? 
Well, I, I, I'm pretty sure he won't be able to move anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And the slums won't be able to jump up to him, so he should be safe and we should be good. This farm should be functioning, I think. We'll just have to wait for the slums to be spawning. But I promise you guys, this farm should be functioning. We've done the same thing over at the Legion server a little while back. And that works as a charm. I've been having too much slime balls lately. I haven't even had a chance to use any of them. Uh, it's been like a crazy farm. But one of the reasons why I want to set this up as quickly as possible, we haven't even set up some, some of the basic farms here, it's just that we need slam blocks to create so many farms. So I just want to have a load of them. I don't want to be like going for this, to the swamps and stuff to get that. So that's why I just want to set up a simple slime farm like this to get tons of that. But anyway guys, that is all I got time for today. It's getting late, I need to sleep. So are you, I think? I don't really know, it depends on when you're watching this. Anyway, Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. If so, be sure to smack that like button. You know the drill. And if you haven't done already, be sure to subscribe. It's been Vega Man, and I'm out.